days. I think this is very important to show what we heard over and over again in, on Wednesday, the importance of working together in a civil way for the common good for the people of Illinois. That's what's called for now, in my opinion. That's why I've made this appointment. And without further ado, I'd like to bring forward uh, Jerry Sturmer to say a few words and to uh, take the oath of office. Jerry. Thank you, Governor Quinn. Last week, the people of Illinois lost our much-beloved Comptroller Judy Bartopinka. No one can adequately fill her shoes. She was a unique and wonderful civic leader who I had the privilege to know and work with since she was a member of the House of Representatives. We're all shocked and saddened at her passing. As Comptroller, she managed the fiscal affairs of the state in a well-respected, bipartisan, yet independent manner and thankfully with a clear sense of joy and humor that infected everyone she worked with. I want to thank Governor Quinn for his confidence in me. He's an exceptional progressive leader who for the past six years has led our state through some of the most difficult ethical, fiscal, and policy challenges of any state in the country. We all owe him an enormous debt of gratitude for his courageous leadership. I also want to thank my wife, Nancy Sturmer, who's here today. I appreciate uh, her coming down on short notice and uh, her strong support uh, for all the efforts that I've been involved with in the past 34 years of our marriage. I want to also emphasize my strong support and belief uh, in the governor's proposal that the legislature immediately uh, take action to set a date uh, for an election of the Comptroller. And thank, of course, Judge Evans for being here also on short notice uh, to do the honors. Okay, well, why don't we, Jerry, stand by here. Nancy, come forward with the Bible. And Judge, if you would administer the oath, uh, we'll get rolling from there.